Alright everyone, welcome back to Dark Souls 3. It has been a while, but we're finally ready to jump back in here. I don't know exactly what it was, I got into a bit of a mood, and I just really, really was not feeling 3. I don't know what it was, but it's over now, and I am ready to continue. I actually forgot I was playing a sorcerer, and uh, I did jump in and move around a little bit, get a little bit used to my uh, moves and everything. I haven't actually attacked anything yet, so let's... Right, that's about where my damage is sitting. Let's drop that gate back behind them. Eh. Okay. We are going to attempt to use fewer soul or as few sorceries as we can on the main enemies here, the farmers. I want to try to save them for when we get ganged up on, which we may be about to, but... Ugh. Now, I have been playing a lot of one recently, so this is going to be throwing me off just a little bit, but we'll get used to it. I was actually talking about one the other day, or not the other day, but last time I was playing it, which was yesterday, but... Ah, why does my ear hurt? Oh, there was like a weird pain in my ear. Anyway, um... Talking about... Ah, basically, the way that I see it is that in one, it was a lot easier to tank because poise worked differently, it was a lot more generous, and you could run around and not really worry too much about it. You could take hits, you could give them back, you know, you could block. While in this one, poise is a lot different, and it's easier to just dodge everything because the dodge timing is a lot more generous in three. At least that is my personal experience. Let's firebomb. See if we can land one over there as well. The issue with this, of course, is that tanking things is my general uh, play style. So not tanking things takes a little bit of getting used to for me. But of course, as with all things, we can get it done. Come here, bud. Take a swing. You little bastard. Take a swing at me. Got him. Take a swing. Okay. Luckily, my charged heavy is ridiculously strong with this rapier. I love it. Now, wasn't one of them running at us, the workers? <sighs> Alright. Now, this area we are going to try to thin out just a little bit. Ooh, regular's not enough. Preemptive strike. Hit them before they have the chance to hit you. As long as we can thin them out first, we can take on the cleric. Oh, that's a little close. Alright, heavy soul arrow should do a decent amount. I know it won't instantly kill her, but... Almost. Ow. How much health do you have left? Who? Okay, damn. I don't remember you having that much reach. Ah, uh, that's a firebomb. That's not what I wanted. That's fine. We got a couple more Estus. And we should be able to take the rest of these guys out with our melee. Firebomb. Okay. Watch out. I think there's one or two more here. Worker trousers. I hear footsteps. Ah, there you are. I am just 
amazed at how strong that heavy is. And it's got pretty good reach, too. Okay. So we went across that bridge last time. This time we're going to go this way. Excuse me. Now, you probably noticed the two summon signs back there and that I didn't bother summoning anyone. That's because at the moment, I'm still exploring and finding the items. And, you know, I don't want to occupy some other player with that. I want to run through real quick, kill most things... Okay. Whoa. We could use a better shield, I won't lie. Yeah, I want to take out most things beforehand. Now, the reason we came over here to get them is because we're actually going to proceed through that hallway. It's the actual way to go forward. And it's a lot easier to take them out beforehand because they would drop on us while we're trying to take something else out. I think at this point, I actually will summon one or two of them for some jolly cooperation. And just, you know, see how we do. I forgot I had 40 throwing knives. Jeez. Okay. But anyway, um... The only reason I'm summoning them for this next part is because I do like having the support for it. It's just a little bit of an annoying area. And this is, of course, if they're still here. Looks like there is still a summon sign here. Air is 69. Did I not? Where's the screaming? Over there? There we go. Should we wave? Yeah, we'll wave. Oh, they gave us a bow. All right, let's get going. It's too bad we can't actually, uh, we're not in a party or anything. We can't, you know, talk to each other. That'd be pretty cool. Then again, I am trying to talk to you guys, so. Now, my main goal here is pushing forward to the next bonfire. But, you know, we'll just go till we can. Maybe this guy will die along the way, maybe he won't. The main reason I want him is towards the end of where, where the bonfire actually is, there is an NPC. Oh, never mind, we got invaded by a player. Unfortunate. I have no idea where they're going to come from. Charcoal pine resin. Fading soul. Going to fall down here. Warrior of Sunlight Covenant. Oh, I missed. See if we can take him out. Ah! The hell did he throw? Ah, oh, firebombs. Why did that hit me? I feel like that shouldn't have hit me around the corner.
wasting all my Estus. He's not bad. I'll give him that. How did he... He was in the middle of a thing. Uh, he's really good at dodging. I'll give him that. I'm out of all my flasks. We don't want to go too far forward because, yeah. Go beat his ass. At least try to. How did he miss? It's okay, bud. You tried. Alright, come here, bud. What? He just walked right through me. I have no healing or anything. God, I hate this. Every time I try to summon someone, have some fun, they're like, nope. <laughs> been this way throughout like all my Dark Souls 3 like in one at least if I get invaded consistently it's just because of a certain day you know it's not because I'm just I don't know what it is in this I have so much trouble actually just getting the chance to have multiplayer because people always want to invade in this one all right when we lost our chance for multiplayer let's go again Fire bombs. Wasted all my black fire bombs too. Oh. Okay. I didn't think he'd reach that far. Buddy, buddy, and buddy. Stop. <laughs> Worker trousers. I don't want your trousers. Speaking of did, have I picked up any extra armor or anything that's better for me? No, no, I haven't. <sighs> Sucks. Feels bad, man. I need to get more Estus shards, really. Why did I just miss? Why does that keep missing? What just died? Okay. Plunge attack! Always feels good to land one of those. Oh, why are you guys more nimble this time? You're a lot more dodgy. You weren't this way first time I ran through here. And for some reason, my range is like I keep falling just outside. Oh, I was trying to charge a heavy, it didn't go there. Uh, I hate wasting stuff. Okay. So, instead of dealing with all these guys... Yeah, we should be able to go around this way. If we're lucky we have none to deal with over here. Well, of course, these two, but... I'm not overly concerned about these two. What 
need to get my damage buff just a little bit more, and then I could probably two-shot these guys. Get my Estus. I shouldn't have Embered. What the hell? Why? Why is him slightly to the side of me allowing that hit? I'm gonna request that you two fuck off. Getting tired of that. You two are being a lot more uh, annoying than the rest. Your request for life has been denied. Wow. Two of my Estus gone from that. Great. I hate annoying little things like that that happen that just stop you. Okay, uh, I meant to switch to, where is it, Warrior of Sunlight, what happens with it? Um, doesn't really do much for us, that's okay though, I want to praise the sun, even though I can't actually praise the sun yet. Oh my god, gimme! Okay. Luckily, that damage is ridiculous. Okay. Oh, he's a bit tougher than I expected. That's okay, though. We got this. I was really scared that that wasn't going to take him out. Whoop! Now you may have noticed the drifting towards me when we were over here. It's another one of the clerics. Obviously, you know, dangerous. So over here we got an item. Uh, what is this item again? Soul of an Unknown Traveler. Okay. So I know where a lot of items are, I just don't remember them. I, I don't know three nearly the way I know one. The lore, the items, all that, just... I just don't know it as good as 1. Because 1, obviously, was my first. I loved 1. I studied the lore for 1, all that good stuff. It's just so amazing, and I love it all. Obviously, flaws here and there, but... The original story, I just cannot get over, you know? It's kind of like Zelda. My first Zelda game was Twilight Princess. Are there others that are better? Sure. There's several that are... Like Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild is amazing. It's a beautiful game. But a lot of people could say, of course, it's not truly Zelda anymore. But whatever. Oh shit! Ah, oh, I thought that was gonna take a lot more. What are you doing? Okay. Heavy solar is doing really little to you. Oh, didn't mean to switch weapons. Oh, you better stop that. Okay. Used a bit more magic there than I wanted, but that's okay, because we still got both our Ashen Flasks. <sighs> so over here is another item. Titanite Shard. Now you can actually see right through that gap there, the um, bonfire we'll be heading to. Oh, we're making good time. It's only been like a little bit less than 20 minutes. Cool. I thought I was taking a lot more. Okay, I don't think there's anything over here, but... Go ahead and check just to be sure. Because we're thorough like that. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and head up real quick and make sure she didn't drop anything. You can do that by going up here. 
if you're a melee based character, this is the way you want to get up and fight her. Unless, of course, she dropped. She tends to drop a lot. Evangelist gloves. That might be good. Another Titanite shard. Um, let's try out Evangelist. Oh, we're, we have the Lothric Knight gauntlets. Never mind. The one piece that is not my starting equipment. <laughs> Across this roof, I think there's another item. Maybe? We could drop down to the bonfire. It's a crystal lizard right there. We're actually going to drop down here. I missed. That's okay. We can always come back for that lizard. Now, we want to be careful. Yeah, Holy Knight H Hodrick. Hodrick is a bastard. I'm just going to say that. He heals himself a lot, and he hits hard. He's also very nimble. A lot more nimble than you'd expect a man with a sword his size to be. We're going to wait for him to come to us. Where is he? Hodrick. A little, uh... I don't like this. There he is. Okay. We'll go ahead and light the bonfire. We can't use it right now because we've been invaded, but... A what? What? Sure. It shouldn't have let us do that. But, I like it. <laughs> okay. Now, yeah. Since we are embered, we're going to keep being invaded by him here until we beat him. So, let's do it. Come on, Hodrick. Get over here. Why aren't you attacking thin air? You look like you were coming. Oh. Where are you? Why are you going back? Did you really de aggro from me? Oh, damn it. I was trying not to aggro the butcher. Butchers. They were much uh, more easy to fight in one. They they were a lot different. What's up, Hodrick? Oh, I didn't think you could do that. That was a decent hit. Let's keep hitting him. Stop it. Oh shit, he coming. Now he starts. Got him. Okay, that is the absolute easiest time I have ever had with Hodrick, which uh, I haven't done Sorcerer this far yet, so cool. Got a vertebra shackle. We could take that to the Mound Builders Covenant. But we're not currently a member of them. But whatever. Okay. We're going to have to go through that, uh, that butcher again. I don't really like the thought of that. Um, I think they're parryable. I really don't want to. But I also don't want to blow all that magic on him. Come on. I think his one-handed attacks might be parryable. Okay. We just gotta be careful. Roll when I say roll, please. Move! 
Ugh. <laughs> I hate the butchers so much. <sighs> well, at least we don't have to fight Hodrick again. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab our souls. We'll just beat him down with our sorceries. Now, you've obviously probably noticed that plank on his back. It's the main thing that makes the butchers really irritating. They can't be backstabbed. Completely immune to backstabbing. Uh, no. Come here, you little... Really? You aren't getting away. A sharp gem. Oh, does that boost from dex, or... I don't remember. I do enjoy the gem factor in 3. It allows you to change the properties so it boosts with different attributes. And that... Uh, scared me for a moment. That is extremely useful, obviously. Okay. You may have noticed all these weird sticks. Those are arrows. Yep. Now watch out, because he will shoot at you. We're going to hope he'll take out a good amount of them before we go rushing in. This part will be a little difficult for us since we focus more on sorcery than melee. Now, if I recall correctly, it's that tower up there he's in. There's a giant archer. I guess we're not luring anymore out, are we? Okay, one of these arrows should take about half our health, maybe a little less, more. Ah, he still hit me. Okay, get up, get up, get up. Okay. How did I just get... Is someone trying to invade me? I just got an Estus back. Worker gloves. Alright, do not go out there and try to get the items yet, obviously, because... Uh, yeah, he's, he's still shooting. We will be able to stop him, though, and you actually don't have to fight him, but we'll get to that at later. Okay, so head this way. Now, if you want to, already, the boss for the area is in there. But we got other stuff to do first, so we're going to go this way. Really hope no one's trying to invade me. We got an Ashen back, too. No, we haven't used an Ashen yet. Get rid of that dog. Okay. There should be another Evangelist and a couple others heading this way. I'm, I'm not seeing the Evangelist, though. That's odd. Where is she? Should be an evangelist, one or two workers, and then one of the guys with the big hammers. Huh. Well, we can wait for those guys and take them out at least. Been on for almost half an hour. I want to get to the next bonfire. Or, no, get the shortcut opened for the bonfire. That's what I want to do. Come closer, bud. Ooh, yeah. Bet that felt great. Okay. An ember. Always good to find. 
Okay, let's keep our Estus ready just in case. Where is she? This is odd. I'm missing a few enemies. Well, should be a dog here that aggroes to me. Okay. Now across there is the way to the next area, the Road of Sacrifices, as well as the way up to that tower. We're not going there just yet, though. Um, okay. We're gonna go grab a couple extra items first. I don't really like going up this way, but we're going to. Okay. Uh, go ahead and get an Ashen ready. Now these guys aren't hostile to you and they won't be hostile to you. Just watch out just to be sure because sometimes, you know, sometimes the enemies don't do what they're supposed to. Okay, pop off another three heavies. Now that butcher, as you can see, is different. Has a big bowl. Those I've found are a little bit more difficult to fight as they like to try to crush you with the bowl, but they can also just throw it at you, which will shatter it and then they'll pull out one of the blades like the others. But they're a little bit trickier to fight so you want to be a little careful okay um, I know when we get back to Firelink I am going to buy a purging stone and fix myself I am NOT going to do Yuria of Londor's questline whoa 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 where oh did something come at me and just fall over I forgot there was something over here enemy wise at least um I'm trying to remember there's a way up there. I know there's a bonfire over here too. Oh yeah, down there. Or not down there, but... Wasn't there a way up over here? Or no, this is... Oh, it's on the other side. Right, okay. Here's what you want to do in this area. Run for it. See? Some guys with firebombs making your life difficult. I didn't open this door from the other side or we'd have a shortcut. I should have. Watch out. How much does a regular solar do to you? A decent amount. How about fair on dart? I'm hearing another one. Is it one of the ones up there? Okay, they shouldn't aggro to you down here. I forgot to get that door there. I apologize. Okay. So the other reason we want to get up there, uh, there's an item, as you can see, to the left of my head right there. But there's another item past there that's a ring. And then up there in that cage is the first pyromancy teacher. Oh, oh my foot is cramping. Oh! Ah, that hurts. Mmm. I think it's been trying to do that all day, but it just finally did it. Oh. Ow. Okay, I'm gonna wait till that goes away. I'm not playing while my foot's cramping. Ah, oh, I'm okay, Sidon. I'm okay, little boy. Go play with your toys. Okay. Okay, it stopped. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> Okay, so down here, there's a little pathway, as you can see. Um, I don't remember how many guys there are down there. Let's go. Ow. Hell. Lure him back this way. Okay. Light this bonfire. We'll go ahead and rest. If we can. No. Because he just entered the doorway. There we go. Okay. Now this bonfire uh, coming down here makes it a lot easier to take out the firebomb throwing guys. Come up here. 
And now we're up on their level. Heavy solar does good damage, it just takes so long. Yeah. I love beating things down with the staff. I will say that is one thing I liked more about too, and I think I mentioned this before, but it was just so much more satisfying to smack things with your staff in two. Instead of just a little bonk, you had like a full actual sweep. Okay, I'm gonna grab this item, the hand axe. Aha, unkindled are we? Welcome to my abode. I am Cornix, an old pyromancer, a crow in his cage, as you see. But here we are. An encounter for the ages. <laughs> I hear the unkindled make for fine vessels. Care to learn some pyromancies from this old man? Ask to learn pyromancy. Ah, most wise. A chance encounter should not be squandered. To reiterate, I am Cornix of the Great Swamp. The pleasure is mine. <laughs> okay, and he'll go back to Firelink. Let's take a look down at that pathway, huh? I'm not seeing like any of the enemies down there. Okay, so as you can see across that bridge towards the tower, there's one, two, and three butchers. Luckily, only two of them aggro to you here. That one, as long as you don't get really close to him, actually is very hard to aggro. And then of course, there's a guy there. Let's head down. Uh, oh, didn't mean to head down there, but oh boy. Roll. Okay. That was a bit scarier than I had hoped for, but we did it. Soul of an unknown traveler, and down here. Sorry, bud. The fire clutch ring. I actually don't remember what the clutch ring does. We only have two rings equipped. Increased fire attack, but compromises damage absorption. So yeah, we don't want that. That lowers our resistance to fire. We want the stone plate ring, though, because that boosts our fire resistance, which is always good. Um, so basically, that's better for a pyromancer, because it makes your fire damage go up, and but it also makes your damage absorption go down. Okay, so heading down here. I hear a loud clanging. And that is usually the evangelist's uh, mace thing, or morning star, whatever you want to call it. There should be a dog over here, and I'm not seeing it. Okay, I'm not enjoying this because I can hear the sounds of the enemies, but I'm not seeing them. There's that dog. Okay, he's down there now, and dogs can't climb ladders. Okay. Now, the butchers usually won't aggro, fully at least, until you get to that spot on the bridge. I'm gonna attempt to firebomb him. There we go. Come on, boyo. I don't want to fight them and you. It's enough of a pain to fight them. Okay, we're gonna attempt to only aggro one. He loves to throw his bowl at you here, so be careful. We should, yeah. Uh oh. Okay, 
let's boost our health back up. And our S just, just in case we miss. Let's get that S just back on. Why'd you stop there, bud? One of the worst places for you to stop. Oh, that was good. But, I don't know if he died from the drop. Doesn't sound like it. Nope, still alive. Ember is... Is the evangelist down there? Why am I still hearing the mace? Really confused. Okay. Heading this way. Now here, if you walk... I don't know about running. I haven't tried it out because I, I just hate... Hate fighting these butchers doesn't matter what I'm playing because even this where it looks easy enough keeping them at a distance I'm still wasting a decent amount of my magic meter there's a few dogs this way so be careful luckily one of them decided to step out early usually they stay back here until you get back here. Some alluring skulls. I wouldn't really say it's worth it if you get ganged up on, but you know, whatever. I don't think there's anything with this well. Yeah, no. Okay. That was the last enemy this way. And over here, you can see a guy. Hmm. Another one of those unkindled, are you? All you faceless undead, behaving as if you deserve respect, no matter. Heed my words, if you've any sense, you go find a coffin to huddle up inside, you here, in this land of hollows. You're like a frail maiden on the front lines. If, like the others, you're fool enough to play the champion, then go on ahead. Trapes right past the abandoned church, you'll face death. And it won't be pretty. Enough death to leave you broken. Time after time. <laughs> yeah, in there, uh, we'll get to that in a bit. I realize how long this video is getting, and I want to make sure I don't go over my one hour limit. So, proceeding forward. With all haste. Say hello to a fan favorite. Zigward. Hmm. 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 Oh, pardon me. I was absorbed in thought. I am Zigward of Katarina. To be honest, I'm in a bit of a pickle. Have you ever walked near a white birch only to be struck by a great arrow? Well, if I'm not mistaken, they come from this tower. Whoever it is, I'm sure I can talk some sense into them. But I have to find a way up. And that's just the trouble. This lift only goes down, you see. Well, that doesn't get me anywhere. Hmm. Roll across, make it go down, and then you can go up. Come on. Hurry up. Okay. Up we go. And normally I'd save this for the next episode, but I want to get it done as fast as I can so I don't have to come over here multiple times. Okay. So we'll grab this item here, Soul of a Nameless Soldier, but then up the stairs. Let's go make another friend. Who are you? Make peace. I have. Young White Branch. Now, if we walk over there where he was shooting, his arrows will still fall and will still kill everything but us. We will no longer be hit by his arrows. Very nice. Okay, there's another floor. Oh, I missed it. way was I supposed to be facing? Was it this way? There we go. Fell a little bit, but that's okay.
Hey, bud. Mm. Ah. Oh, don't disappear like that. You had me downright worried. But thanks to you, an epiphany has struck me square in the head. I've unraveled the riddle of this inscrutable lift. <laughs> Look at that thing. On some days, I begin to doubt myself. I went up the tower, so I thought. Then somehow, ended up here. I'm not exactly sure what happened. Anyhow, do you see that? That humongous beast? I'm no coward and I've a steady hand, but that thing makes my skin crawl. How now? Think twice before you go down that road. Okay. Uh, we're gonna attempt to fight this thing with him. Try to draw it over. Oh, come on. Will that one do it? No, I can only throw him so far. Come on, get closer. I don't have all day. I haven't got all morning. Come on, bud. Really? I don't want to go down there with this thing. I'm ranged. Can't even see where that knife went. Those look like they'd connect. I don't think he can hit me here. Come on, bud. I'll have to wait for him to come help me if you don't just get up here. No! You should have waited! Well, it's too late now. I oh, he can hit me. That hurt. Well, goddamn, go get him, bud. Secret. Bud, you keep stepping right in front of me. And I really, really don't want to hurt you. Good hit. Uh oh. What was. Oh, was that just a buff? I was expecting something much worse. <gasps> okay. He's down there. I can't hit him. Got him. I was real worried there. Fire gem. Hey, bud. That was quite a performance. But you mustn't get in over your head. We unkindled must put our duties first. But, for the moment, we've a toast to make. Your valor, my sword, and our victory together. Long may the sun shine. <laughs> I love him. We got the toast gesture. Okay. We're going to try to run through this area as quick as we can. Now there's an item up in one of these things. Yes. Oh, come on. Can I hit it with a throwing knife? Good if I could aim. There. Oh, that's not what I was going for. Oh, there it is. Okay. Pale tongue. That'll be of use to us later. 
Okay, grab the large club, because there's a set of armor I really, really want, but it's at the end of this area. So we're going to try to go through fast. And hopefully not be stupid and die. Okay, got to watch out. Just keep going. Watch out for thralls and cages that want to kill ya. Why did I do that? That's not at all what I wanted to do. I thought I still had my knives out. Okay, we have no healing. And I really, really hope we don't have to just come back to this place. Oh, right, that's the one. I'm throwing him at the wrong one. Come on! Some alluring skulls. Okay. Um, I don't know if I can actually use an ember right now. Okay. Proceed. Okay, we got one. Oh! I'm surprised that guy didn't get us. Okay. Gotta really watch out for the dogs. Okay. There's a couple evangelists up here as well. I don't think we have the magic to take them both on. We're gonna try to lure them away. Got about seven minutes left. I need to get past them. I'm not fighting them right now. Can I use an ember? I can. Oh, I haven't been embered this whole time. Good to know. You're going back up, aren't you? Oh, you ass. Excellent. Okay, I thought I could run past one. Side on. Careful. You keep putting all your weight on one spot on my leg and it hurts, buddy. Flynn's ring. Okay, once we get to the end, we can homer bone out of here. Okay. We gotta drop down to here. And then down to here. I don't remember if there's an item on this section... Yes. Some homer bones, right, because it's the way to... Now we need to drop down. Oh, someone died from the damage there. Alright. The Mira outfit. Other than the hat. And the Chloranthi ring. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and equip the Chloranthi ring, because, duh, it's too useful not to. <laughs> the Mira set should be, yes, much better. We lose a bit of magic and fire resist and dark, but the rest of our physical goes up quite a bit. I don't know about the gloves. Okay, and boots, trousers, whatever. Yes, I like this a lot more. All right, and we come out. I don't know if there's another item back here. Okay, no. Good. Good, good, good. And we come out right here. All right, let's go back to the shrine. 
Now, I'm going to buy a couple things and take care of a couple things at the shrine off camera just because of how short of time we are. But I'm not going to progress any further in the level yet. I'll wait until next time. But for now, that's all I'm going to get done with you guys. I know this episode was a bit longer than the rest. I apologize for that. I just, I got kind of, in the moment, I got greedy. But for now, that's all we're going to get done. As always, I really hope you guys enjoyed the show and that you have a great day.